Hello Maxis and welcome to another video on Big Bang Racing. Today I'm going to try something interesting. All of you know that I have this account right here with 6,000 trophies and almost 50,000 Big Bang points. But most of you don't know that I have this account right here with only 1,404 trophies. Already 4 followers without any levels. Okay and only 13 adventure levels completed. In my other account I have more than 4,000. But what, I'm, what am I going to do with these two accounts? Well, first of all, I have a second team, but that's not what this video is about. But what am I going to do then? I'm going to play three levels of my main account with my main account and then with my secondary account to see the main differences on the gameplay that arise to show you what you should take into consideration when you're making a level. Okay, here we go. So first of all, we're going to try my oldest level, three obstacles. Some of you may have seen all my levels in a video that I made um, on my secondary channel, which is actually a secret channel, only some of you know the name. And you can see the here, with high CC it becomes pretty hard solving it. Let's see how this is with low CC. So it was easy. It was easy to finish the level, but hard to get the three maps with high CC. But it will be easy in both with with low CC, right? Because I originally beat it with low CC. I'm pretty sure. Come on, don't fall to the electric, please. Why? Well, I guess I made this hard, that's why it got so few likes. Please, please. I did it. Yeah, the jump with the trampoline was still hard, but that is all. Uh oh. Oof, that was pretty close. Now, the second level is going to be a race and it's going to be the race that has the most, the level and race that has the most likes of mine. You can see here I'm racing with people that have high CCs. So let's see how we do. Just there, I got first, even though I didn't, I wasn't first at the beginning. So let's see how the race works, and my enemies have low C, okay, and they probably don't know that well how to spin, just kidding, they do. You can see that it's much harder to progress and everything feels slower. I beat him, even though he has, well, he has the lowest SC of all of them, but still, I beat it. Nice. Now, let's go to the third level. This is my latest level with a bike. It's very old, I don't remember making it. Because I'm basically only doing uh, normal, uh, not normal, off-road levels. And we did it under 30 seconds. So let's see how long it takes me with this CC. 64. Because I haven't unlocked it. Because you need 250 to unlock it. My objective is to one day get 6,000 CC. With less than 206,000 trophies. With less than 6,000 CC. Ah, I'm, I'm done. 6,000 trophies with less than 250cc in the car, of course. So only with the car getting a thick 6,000 trophies. That, of course, will be hard. Well, 
It seems that it won't take me that long. 40 seconds. What can we get out of all these levels? Well, we can first of all say that ice is very hard for low CCs. For high CCs, it's kind of a slippery ground, but for low CCs, it's like really hard to go through. Even harder than mud, I would say. Second thing all, races. If you want to have places to spin in races, better use treadmills than ground, because with low CCs, you don't spin on ground. Unless it's for the tournament, then you can do ground. And you have high CC, I guess. Um, third thing, bike levels actually work pretty well for all CCs, surprisingly. And lastly, or with well, most CCs at least, and okayish, but better than, uh, there is a small difference than with the off-roader. But that is all for today's video. I hope I can help you with those tips that you make so that you make better levels. And anyways, see you later, Maxis.